Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praise the Lord. I give God praise. I glorify him and I exalt him and I honor him. Another Monday, Monday morning, a day that the Lord allow me to see. It's a day that I can come before his presence and give him glory and honor and praise and exalt in his name this morning you know before you know just as i was about to wake out of my sleep this morning i find myself in a dream and in this dream i was in this church i did this church like um i was asked to i don't know read read the word but all I know that all I could hear myself, I was just saying, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was just giving God praise, giving God praise, hallelujah. And to be honest, while giving God praise is like another entity want to attack me. But praise be to God, there is power in praising God. There is power in worshiping God. So as I was there praising God, I felt like there is this spirit that wants to hold me down. I don't know if anyone have ever had that experience where in which you felt like, you know, there is this thing that wants to hold you down and you can't move. You can't get out of your sleep. But, you know, before that happened, I know that I was having this dream and I was in this church and I was asked to read the word and I was about to read the word but before i get into reading the word i know i was just saying hallelujah 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 and i was just praising god and while i was doing that the enemy wants to attack me but greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world and so when you have god in you even though the enemy tries to attack you it will not conquer you because the greater is inside of you. I was praising God. I was worshiping God. So the enemy could not hold me captive. The enemy could not hold me down because the greater was inside of me. So on this Monday morning, I just want to come on quickly. This is another day, another blessed day, another day to rejoice in God because he have kept me throughout the night. He allowed me to see another day. And so I have this privilege. I have this, this, this blessing. And with this blessing, I had to just lift up the name of Jesus. And so I just want to share, you know, in today you know um about the goodness of god about you know god mercy about god's love i just want to just you know praise god with someone you know praise god with you know my brothers and sisters out there because god is good god is good he is worthy to be praised he is worthy to be glorified he is worthy to be exalted he is worthy to be lifted up and so when you have the opportunity to do so, just do it. Just take a time out and just say, thank you, Jesus. You know, when you have God, you go to bed with God inside of you. You wake up with God inside of you. You go about your duty with God inside of you because you have God in you. And so today, I just want to read Psalms 1. You know, Psalms 1, you know, a scripture that all of us know. He said, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the part of sinners, nor sits in the seats of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that brings forth his fruit in his season, whose leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he does shall prosper the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which the wind drives away therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the lord knows the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly sh shall perish 
Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. So if you are walking in God's truth, in God's righteousness, you know, if we have this loving connection with God, you'll find that you will not partake of anything that is not of God. The writer said, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. And when you look at the ungodly, the ungodly have nothing to do with the things of God. The ungodly ways are dark ways. The ungodly are just seeking to destroy lives. The ungodly are plotting to manipulate the ungodly are plotting to gaslight you. The ungodly are plotting to, to, to bring you down. The writer said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So if you are not partaking in the things of the ungodly, the word of God calls you blessed. If you're walking in the light, which is Christ, you are called blessed. He said, now stand in the part of sinners, now sit in the seats of the scornful. So anything that is in darkness, anything that comes against the truth of God, the knowledge of God, if you are not partaker of those things, you are called blessed. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditate day and night. You know, when we take time to read the word of God, to meditate upon him, to, you know, talk about God's goodness, to, to really reflect on his good thoughts towards us, because his thoughts towards us is good and not evil. He wants us to reach to our expected end. If we delight to meditate upon the things of God, we are considered blessed. He said, you shall be like a tree planted by the river of water. Just imagine you are being planted by water. Water represents life. And that water that I am seeing, it represents God. If you are planted in God, you will never dry up. If you are planted in God, you will never be without. If you are planted in God, you will always flourish. If you are planted in God, you will always have enough. And so he said, you are considered to be blessed. And if you are planted in him, you will bring forth fruits in its season so you will never be without in every season that you go through we can look at the different season that we encounter we have summer we have winter we have spring we have autumn we can see the different season that we go through and every season present a different weather and so in all of our season, God is saying that we will have enough because we are planted in him. You will bring forth fruits in its seasons. He says, whose leaves shall, shall also shall not wither. So when you are planted in the things of God, when you meditate upon God, when you walk in God's righteousness, in God's truth, God says that you will always flourish in every season that you're in. You know, sometimes you might think that, okay, we might be going to a dry season, but if we should really take the time to really reflect and look, even though the season look dry, God is still providing. God is still making a way. God is still being present with us. So today, I'm just here to encourage someone, to bless someone. It let us understand that the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Praise God. 
when you look on the leaves, when they fall off the tree, and when the wind blow, they're just, you can see them just flying away because they have nothing to keep them solid, nothing to really sustain them, nothing to keep them firm. Only when you are in God, you can stand through your season. You can stand through the storm. You can stand through the wind because it will not blow you away. He said, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So today I want us to understand that there is a way in God for all of us. But if you are not in God, you will not stand in the judgment. Because when you are in God's judgment, when God's judgment comes, and when you see the truth, when you come to that realization that all those times that was given opportune time to repent, to change your ways, in the days of judgment, everything will be open to you. So you won't be able to stand it because you're looking at the loss. You're looking at the fact that you're, it's too late for you. Because at that moment, you won't have the opportunity to repent. He said, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Today, I want us to understand to stay in God. Because when you stay in God, you are called blessed. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Today, my brothers and sisters, you know, we are here, the Green Disciple Ministry. You know, my sister is sitting over that side. <laughs> she just come in. But to God be praised, you know, God is a good God. You know, he's a awesome God. He's worthy of our praise. You know, doesn't matter what we are going through. I want you to understand that God loves us with an everlasting love. And his love will never fail. His love is unconditional. You know, there's no condition tied to it. You know, God don't love us because we serve him. He love us because he is love. He cannot not love because he's just love. And so I want to just encourage us today. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't matter how dark the part looks. The light is within you. If you are in God, God's light is inside of you. Just start to shine that light. Just start to manifest that light. Just start to allow that light to come out of you. And it will allow you to start to feel completely different. You know, when you talk about the goodness of God, when you talk about the love of God, when you talk about the mercies of God, when you talk about the, the God that we can go to and he forgive us of our sin, when you just vast in God, it makes the difference. Jesus makes the difference in our life. You know, and so today I just want to encourage someone, you know, you might be going through your season. You know, but the word of God say you will bring forth fruits in your season. He said, if you're planted in God, you will never dry up. He said, blessed, blessed are you. You know, blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. He said, it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in a season. So when you're planted in God, God represents that water. And if you're planted in God, it doesn't matter what season you're going through, you will bring forth. You will birth forth. You will come true. You will stand strong. The wind will not blow you over because you're planted in God. Stay planted in God. Stay rooted in God. Stay firm in God. Stay strong in God. Don't let the negative emotions, the negative thoughts, Ruin that relationship that you have with God. Try.
try and get back to that memory of God's truth, who he represents, who he is, because he's God and he will never change. He's the God of today, he's the God of tomorrow, and he's the God forever. Stand strong in God, stand firm in God, and keep loving on each other, because that's what God requires. Love each other. When you love each other, you're loving God. If you're hating each other, you hate God. Because you can't hate your brothers and sisters and say you love God. So when you love each other, that's you loving God. You have to first manifest your love with each other before you can establish that love with God. If you can't love your brothers and sisters, whether your blood brothers and sisters or your church brothers and sisters or any brothers and sisters out there, you can't love God. No man can say they hate their brothers and sisters and say they love God. It starts with us. How we love each other determine how we love God. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And on that note, I just want to lift up a prayer this morning. Heavenly Father, God, we come before your throne of mercy. We come to a holy, righteous God. We come to a God that never sleep or slumber. Amen. We come to a God who is always attentive to the cry, to the prayer, O God, of his children. Father God, we come to you knowing that you are our Father. The word of God say we should cry, Abba, Father, our Father, who art in heaven. And so, Father God, because we have given right to your kingdom, Lord, we can come before you. We don't have to go to the priest, oh God, and require the priest to go on behalf of us. We can come to you, God, directly to you, lifting up our voice to you, calling on our Father, and you will hear and answer us. And so, Father God, we cry out today, another day, a Monday morning. Oh, God, a new week begins, Lord, and it begins with you, Jesus. And so, Father, we pray, oh, God, that you will touch our life today. Father God, so many people are going through so many different things. They are in their season today, Lord. But I pray in the name of Jesus that they, oh, God, will be reminded Oh God, as long as they are planted by the rivers of water, as long as they are planted in you, God, they will never dry up, Lord. Oh God, the leaves will not wither. Oh God, the situation will not die. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they might think, Lord God, oh God, that there is no help for them. They might think, Lord God, that there is no way out of this situation. Oh God, they might think, Lord, that no one cares for them. But Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that everything, Lord God, that the enemy, oh God, wishes for them, Lord God, that you will, oh God, turn it around for their good. Oh God, the enemy might wish evil upon them. The enemy might wish that they will not prosper. The enemy might wish that they will not succeed. But God, you are the God of of their salvation. You are the God of their deliverance. You are the God of their breakthrough. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, they will not die in their season. Oh God, they will not die in the situation. Oh God, but they will live to declare your word, your truth, Lord. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, for the mind of the individual, the mind of your children. Because, oh God, that's where the enemy attack. He attack the mind. Oh God, with all different lies. He wants to manipulate them. He wants to gaslight them. The enemy 
enemy wants to play trick on the mind. But in the name of Jesus, I pray for sown mind. Because you say you have not given us spirit of fear, but power, love, and sown mind. So I pray sown mind upon your children. I pray power and love upon your children today, Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone that are going through their low season, oh God, I pray you'll give them your joy because the joy of the Lord is their strength. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray strength upon your people. I pray peace upon your people. Oh God, weeping may endure for a night. I pray, but the joy, oh God, which is you, Lord God, will come in their life, oh God, and transform it. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that deliverance will come. Oh God, that need deliverance. Healing will come for those who need healing. Breakthrough will come for those who need breakthrough. Father, in the name of Jesus, we surrender everything in your hands today, Lord God, and we pray, God, that your divine Holy Spirit will take over. Have your divine way, Lord, I pray, as we surrender everything in your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God.